SPG needs rescue. He's almost developed immunity to this infection, but it's also almost to the point where it could kill him. It looks like he's going to be okay as long as he stays in bed and rests. Randy has self-tamed a doe. All right. We'll just uh, probably eat that doe. KV wanders off into a daze. That's okay. That's one of the better breaks. Just going to walk around. Hopefully he doesn't do it so long that he starves to death. BG is also going into a daze. Uh-oh, this could be bad if his infection hasn't healed. He developed immunity to the infection. Okay, he's going to be fine, most likely. That was actually a pretty, pretty good outcome. Slim's been doing a really good job of making us lots and lots of bricks. So we've got marble blocks to make. In fact, I think I might turn this into a marble stone hospital. Randy gives us a visitor. He does have something to trade, so we'll see what he's got. He doesn't really have anything we want besides a little bit of pemmican. So we'll take his pemmican and trade him some cloth for that. Oh no. Randy's raiding us with a mechanoid cluster. Oh gosh. We've got a mech node that will activate an inferno turret, a charge turret, a couple of pikemen, and a scyther. We are still beat up. We have a couple of people who are in a daze. This might kill the entire group. I'm not sure. Great, Drifty's gone into a tantrum. Our prisoner, Luis, has gone berserk, and because we have a pile of gold blocking the door, he was able to escape, and now he's trying to kill our rabbit. Is he attacking BG? He is attacking PG in his sleep. Oh my gosh. No, don't kill BG. This is a nightmare. Oh, gosh. Poor BG's down again. We need to just kill Luis. He's too much of a risk. Got him. Just more wounds. He's in extreme pain. Everyone's just going insane. Everyone's like, we just... Our groups cannot handle everything that's happened. A group of poor travelers are approaching, looking for help. The travelers are begging for 33 medicine. We don't have 33 medicine. They need the medicine to help their friend. I need to help my friends. We can give them the items or we can let them move on. You guys are just going to have to move on because I ain't got 33 medicine for you. I think we need to capture him. Oh, no. Three of our tribes people have gotten sick from malaria. Oh, this is This is really bad. Slim, KV, and our prisoner. Actually, let's up their medicine so that we can use our best medicine. Also, I need to preach health, but I want to wait to see who's healing slower. That's a rough one. Yeah, we need light. A war merchant has arrived. Let's see what they've got. Also, cargo pods. Unfortunately, nothing we need. Looks like we've got some more raw fungus. Take that. Thanks, Randy. We're not really hurting for food, but we're all beat up and sick. We got an offer to take on some extra mechs. We're gonna decline this. We're in no position. Looks like T's gone on an insulting spree. That's unfortunate. I personally hate the insulting spree the most because it makes everybody else go on breaks as well. It just pisses everybody off for days. Yep, there, Louise went insane again. All right, he broke free. He's gonna try to kill Louise again. Slim and KV are suffering from malaria. I think we just need to end Louise. We're, I don't think we're gonna get him. Well, it was a good shot. BG hit him with a shotgun. Looks like he's going for the hair. Ooh, he's down. So, I mean, I wouldn't like being locked in a room that's just barely big enough for one sleeping spot as well. We need to make a bed soon. Proper prison. We're going to keep prisoners. For now, we're going to carry him back to his tiny room. He broke the door down, so apparently this entire thing is his prison now. He's gone berserk again, but he's just, he can't get up. All of our animals are wandering around. This is really a disaster after that last big raid. Slim has gone into a catatonic state. We can choose to take a psychic drone against all the females for five and a half days to get some stuff. I like the nine glitter world medicine. It might help us beat the malaria, but it's definitely going to cause more problems with Slim and T. I'm going to wait on it. A wild woman wanders in. Her name is Turkey. 17 cooking, super immune, but a gourmand. Incapable of violent, she would make a great slave. I think we need to capture her. We need to make another spot to capture. Now that we've got Turkey, we're going to try to convert her over to Driftism. And then we'll convert her into a slave. 
who will cook for us like a boss and do plants. Heck yeah. Backup doctor too. That's a great find. Transport pod crash. Let's see what this is. Jensen in mind shattering pain. Industrious. Trigger happy. Another great cook. I think we could use this person in our crew just because they're psychically sensitive and industrious. They would be good. But let's try to save this person. They're going to die in seven hours. So most likely we need to draft T, have her come down here. Let's actually build a sleeping spot right next to him. Sleeping spot. Set this to be medical and we'll tend to his wound right here. Let's rescue him. Place him here. Tend without medicine. Just stop the bleeding. There we go. Let's move this bed here. Typically, if they have good shooting or melee, I want to recruit them. And I want to have at least two or three people to every slave that the colony has. And because of the ideology that's set up, none of the colonists will care if we have slaves or if they see dead bodies or... I mean, they're kind of all cold-blooded. But the first step is always to convert them so you don't have a conflict of ideology throughout the game. Randy hits us with a Manhunter pack. Oh no. <laughs> We're getting attacked by five giant elephants. We're gonna have to hope that they come in from the bottom and hit all the traps as they're running through. We need to draft Drifty and get him inside, otherwise he's gonna get mauled to death. Let's see if they just try to beat down the door. Come on, go through the traps. Yes! One, two, three, four, five! It took five traps and he's still going! Oh, yes, okay. They're running through the traps. They're working great. Yes. I think this one's running around. I don't know what's happening. They're taking like six, five, five to six traps each. But they don't know how to get in and they're just taking a bunch of damage. So this little strategy seemed to work great. I opened the bottom and closed off all the doors. So they literally have to run through the entire corridor. <laughs> the sounds they're making. All the way to the top, all the way around, and all the way to the bottom, and I left this open. Of course, there are sims that will just dig through the walls, so we have to be prepared for that. But it seems like, wow, that worked great. Fantastic. It's going to take a ton of wood and lumber to rebuild these, but, I mean, that's the best defense I have right now. Nobody gets hurt. Sweet. Let's, uh, let's harvest the corpses that we can. We'll get some leather and meat from that. So apparently, we still get um, bothered by rotting corpses. But we are not bothered by actual corpses, but we need to get these rotting corpses buried. So I'm going to work on that. 106 elephant leather. Of course, they had Scaria, so we'll only get a few of them. Look at how many traps they took out. 29 traps. Oh no. Our slave has gone berserk. She's incapable of violence. So I don't know if she goes berserk. Is she still capable? That's interesting. I'm going to tame her though with a shotgun. Oh, she's definitely capable of violence. Melee attack her back. Zero skill, though. How is she still standing? She's been hit by with a shotgun. My goodness, BG. T, you're gonna have to help. Oh, we got him. All right, capture. BG goes into a daze. Okay, that's fine. At least he's not bleeding. Some thrombos. Well, I mean, there's a chance we could get them. They don't knock down the walls. I don't know. We need to rebuild traps. There's a chance we can get these thrombos before they leave the map. 908 elephant meat. That's a lot of meat. A jubilee of meat expected. Sure, let's let's do it. Take plates at the party spot. There's a most likely chance that it'll be a fun party. Let's let's have that. Jubilee of meat. I think they just go around and eat a bunch of raw meat. I don't I don't know. I've never seen this one either. It's another one of the ideology things. It's like you throw a party. Hey, we had a fun jubilee of meat. And Wanderer joins. What? And then a solar flare. That's fine. We get a mood buff. What is this Wanderer? Hold on. A logger named Mish has arrived and wants to join the colony. She is willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily. Claiming to have nowhere else to go. You can choose to turn her down and send her away. However, your colonist will be disturbed at sending someone away in need. So I think because we had the jubilee of meat, she smelt it from a mile away and came saying, hey, I want to join. We could use some help. Let's accept her. People have arrived. All right, Mish, let's take a look at you. Whoa, 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 slow down. Let's take a look at you. What's going on here? Got a scar, not a big deal. She's immediately accepted our ideology. That's great. Good melee attacker. I mean, that's the... Eh. Someone to do plants and uh, industrious and artistic. Okay. We've got someone to make sculptures for us. That's great. Let's make a bill and let's set up something for sculptures. Let's make some steel sculptures. 
Actually, let's make marble sculptures. Just out of marble. Let's make a bunch of them. It takes a hundred each. Let's start with just three of them. Mish, you're going to be our new artist. We're going to need a name for Mish. If any of you want to be named in the game, let me know in the comments below or on Discord. Links in the description below. Passion for construction? That's pretty good. That was pretty awesome. Welcome to the crew. <laughs> oh, no. Jensen's gone berserk. <laughs> and Louise got up and beat the crap out of him. Fantastic. All right, Drag, you're awake. Go uh, capture Jensen again. I think Jensen was beating the crap out of Turkey. Louis got up and beat the crap out of Jensen. We're gonna need T to tend to these guys. We're gonna waste a ton of elephant meat, unfortunately. So this is an interesting one. I think we need everybody, but I'm tempted to take it. 15 days is a very long time. We would gain a member, a slowpoke, misandrous, undergrounder. We don't need another cook. I think we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass on this one. Some goodwill would be nice, but we need four of our workers for sure. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We had so much meat. If we had a refrigerator, we'd be able to store tons of elephant meat but i think we wasted like six seven hundred meat total or we're going to hey we've enslaved turkey and jensen goes into a daze that that's actually fine the daze is fine a raccoon self tamed okay we'll just eat that some travelers are passing by i don't think we really want to take any more prisoners right now looks like louis went berserk again let's try to melee attack him before he kills jensen dang it slim's gone on an insulting spree these suck because it makes everybody mad it's like t's gone into a daze which isn't that bad. You just can't use them for a bit. Dromedaries join. Hey, we got a couple of dromedaries. That's great. In case we want to do some trading. These are great pack animals. Need to bring them into the pen. Got plenty of hay for them too. BG's gone into a daze. That's fine. They need that catharsis. KB's gone into a sad wander. I made a larger prison. Hopefully this will make the prisoners a little bit happier and maybe they'll stop freaking out and trying to kill everybody. Gazelle self-tamed. More food. Why don't we just slaughter that? right now same thing with the dough war merchant from the confederacy of rika okay i think we have some ambrosia to trade hey louis decided to join us finally nice he's gonna be our researcher he's not mining he's gonna be researching Let's see what these guys have to trade always need more medicine we're gonna buy all of their pemmican and all of their medicine and sell off the ambrosia it's a nice profit good trade cargo pods what did we get some psych it very nice looks like a there was a dispute between themselves, and one of them killed the other one. Well, they did drop some pemmican that I guess I could grab. Also, I could eat the body. I don't think they would mind at this point. One of their guys went crazy and just murdered another one. Does Mish not have a room yet? I have to make a room for Mish. Well, looks like Mish went into a daze. That's okay. I think I'm going to form a caravan to the nearest town that we can trade and maybe get some good trade happening. Take our dromedaries. We're going to take all of our silver, too. All right, let's send them. We made a stockpile for all the tainted clothes because no one will buy them. So we're going to burn them at some point, but it's taking up too much space in our main base. So we're going to be moving them out. Looks like BG's going on a food binge, but that's fine. And then we've arrived at town. So let's make a trade in here. This is proving to be a very good trade. We brought lots of leather and cloth and different um, things to trade. And we're going to bring back some components, a few advanced components, some medicine, quite a lot of medicine, actually. A reprocessor stomach, which is going to let one of the colony members use less food, which is great. And also a telescope. Last minute, I decided a bolt action rifle was another good thing to have. Drifty made it back with all the supplies. It was a very successful trade. It looks like we have 20 anima grass now, so somebody else can become a psy caster. I think we're going to make T become our secondary psychic caster. Let's begin this event. Cool. This is from the royalty DLC. There we go. Let's check out what skill she got. Pain block. So now we have two of them with pain block. It's an okay one. It's not really one of the better ones. That's unfortunate that we got the same one twice, but it's better than nothing. It is pretty cool. And if we are to get 20 more anima grass, we can do the same thing again. It takes a little while, but it's worth it. We got a combat supplier approaching, proving to be a very good run economically because of all the ambrosia sprouts that have came up this time. So we've been given some trade power. An EMP launcher. Oh, we need that. That's going to be fantastic against the mechs that have assaulted us at the bottom. An incendiary launcher, that will be useful as well when we want to get rid of unnecessary tainted clothing. Black vests, very much needed. Black jacket, T's having a tantrum. And then we got some uh, danger pods. It's a quest for danger pods. I'm gonna 
deny it. We can accept a cold snap for some rewards, but I don't really want to do that either. We're going to begin a leader speech. A rousing speech intended to improve morale. Colonists will gather and the leader will speak for a few hours. If all goes well, listeners will feel inspired and gain respect for the leader. If it goes poorly, the speech will do social damage. I think we have a good chance of making an encouraging one, which is going to be a mood buff that everybody needs. So let's go ahead and begin this. This is another ideology one uh, that I haven't actually seen yet. Oh no. How did it go? The speech was cancelled at 50% because it had no effect. Because Drifty has gone into a sad wander. I had a feeling it was going to happen. That's why I decided to try to get a mood buff. I guess we'll have to try again. Maybe it'll let us try it again. No, it timed it. Oh man, it's such a challenging, it's such a challenging game sometimes. 